Hi, I'm Matthias, and this woo, is our annual t-shirt run. However, this year is different, because this year, the shirts are so, so soft. For those of you already sold, please head right over to Indiegogo and reserve yours now. For the rest of you, let me explain further. Seeing Arsenal is an extremely heavy and expensive program to make from a YouTube perspective. We're actually more like the leanest TV style documentary you could possibly get. Our ad revenue doesn't remotely cover our show's production costs. Instead, we're almost entirely fueled by the donations of patrons every month. However, that number has remained fairly static since the start of the uh, Great Disruption. Which means we've only managed to keep a modest income flowing and no real room for savings. Which is why these annual fundraisers are actually huge for us. They give us a lump sum that we can uh, use to iron out any emergencies and expend for special projects or difficult pieces that require extra travel. You guys get the idea. So before I even show you the shirts in detail, know that a good chunk of the sales are going to simply keeping the wheels rolling and is not just a sort of cash grab for our personal banking. Now, in previous years, we've made frankly nigh indestructible shirts from heavy cotton construction that lasts and lasts. However, there have been repeated requests for a softer, lighter style, and we're going to give it a try this year. We've sampled a number of available brands and ultimately went with Tooltex for a mix of cost and comfort. Honestly, 90% of the selection process was basically May rubbing them all on her face to decide which is best. Now, I've tried out these shirts for a few days down in the hot and very humid south and found them to be much, much more comfortable than the previous heavyweights. However, they are a smidge pricier. That being said, I think we've also managed to keep the inflation costs out of the equation, so I'm hoping it roughly works out for you guys at home. So let's go ahead and see the shirts. First up is the number one fan favorite of all time, The Cycle of Violence, which was a limited print from the last run, doomed to be produced just once. Well, if we do a recolor on a new material, I think we can kind of get by with just one more print of this shirt. I actually got a lot of requests for additional copies of this shirt after last year's were done, so this time, make it count. Lots of people like them, even if they are not into old guns, so they make great presents. Seriously, you probably want to spare. Next up, we've actually adapted our most popular patch design into a frankly awesome looking t-shirt, the 303 inspired strip club. While the photos are nice, I will say the colors in person are very vivid and bright. This one is May's favorite right out of the box. I highly recommend it. And rounding out the repeaters, we are again offering a plain CN Arsenal logo shirt with May and myself on the sleeve. This time in a sort of OD green color, again on the super comfy t-shirt guaranteed to gather more snuggles than usual from the female of the species. This assumes, however, that you can get within touching range of the female of the species without catching a charge. Good luck, gentlemen. Now, I have to introduce at least one new design, and for those of you really into the show, this year has been one of discovery when it comes to Revolver history. Which is why I took the time to adapt and properly immortalize the most important forgotten patent in wheel gun lore, the 1874 Fanyu rebounding lockwork. Now, I did realize that spelling Fanyu on the shirt itself might not go over well, so we've snuck in his original signature, lifted and cleaned up from one of his patents. This is definitely the insider high-level history appreciator shirt of this year. Now being my favorite design, the Fanyu will of course be the slowest seller. That is what always happens with you Philistines. Hell, last time around, I put hours and hours of effort into the perfect, low-key, high history shirt. And you know what you all bought by the dozen? Cycle of Violence, a shirt that I slapped together in like 40 minutes. Well, fine, I've learned my lesson. I spent exactly 15 minutes on this next design. It is the laziest thing I have ever done for this show. In a fair world, it would be our slowest seller. So for the sake of my sanity, do not buy a plain gray t-shirt that just says, old guns on it. It's horribly generic, completely lacks subtlety or nuance, and has zero professional effort behind it. It's a feckless, literal, fifth wheel cash grab, and if you buy it, I hate you. I can already predict it will outsell my favorite. 
anyway. Now, if you're wondering about sizing, pricing, discounts for ordering more shirts and shipping, things of that general nature, please refer to the Indiegogo page for the products, as it provides far more information than this video here really can. One thing I will cover is that these are a pre-order item, so we'll collect funds for 30 days, then with the totals for each shirt in hand, begin production. This allows us to keep the costs as low as possible because we know exactly how many shirts to order and don't have to maintain an expensive overhead inventory, risking being overstocked or selling out. That means that these will start to deliver around early December, just in time for the gift giving season. Now remember folks, this, yes, is a product, but some of the margin is frankly a sort of donation to the content that you're already enjoying. I also highly recommend that you wear your CN Arsenal merchandise as often as possible, especially at gun shops, gun ranges, outdoor events, and the grocery store, because you'll often encounter other collectors and make friends who might be hiding cool stuff. Also, I've been known to uh, sneak up on fans of the show whenever I can identify them. One time, I actually managed to get behind a guy whose wife saw me and just stood aside. How disloyal is that? She just let a stranger, right? She didn't even know who I was. I got up behind him, and actually did that husbandly thing of sort of like reaching his hand back, looking for her hand, and that's when I struck. Boom, surprise Othias. All right, y'all, thanks for the support and for making the show possible. Have a good one.